Okay, so in the last class, we could not complete the uh, functions that we were planning to do. So let's complete them. And the remaining functions uh, were, uh, we have uh, uh, remaining functions like hour, minute, second, and workday, date value, and a month. Uh, I hope uh, the screen is uh, visible and uh, I'm audible, and I'll continue. Uh, so just like we have done a date, time, month, and year function, we also have uh, the hour function, uh, which is uh, very simple to understand. As you can see, the meaning of hour has come over here. It returns the hour as a number from 0 to 23. So let me just uh, put the uh, bracket, and uh, let me see the syntax of this. And as I told you earlier also, either we remember the serial number, and if we don't remember the serial number, then we can easily give the uh, time in the uh, bracket, in the uh, double quotes. So I say uh, 4, colon, uh, 0, 4, uh, colon, uh, 30, uh, 23, double quotes, and I close the bracket. So the answer it has given me is 4, because indeed, in the... Uh, position of the hour I've mentioned four as the answer. Uh, let me do it one more time uh, to make it more clear. So I have hour. Uh, I have the serial number uh, since I do not know that. So I put the time in the double quote. So let me randomly put uh, any other time. I say zero five colon zero uh, nine colon uh, thirty four double quotes and I close the bracket. So I get 5 as the answer because for the uh, hour, I have mentioned the uh, 5th uh, in the hour position. In a similar manner, we have the minute also. For the minute also, we have the same format. And it means it returns the minute number from 0 to 59. And uh, the syntax is again same. We say equal to minute and we mention serial number. And if we do not know the serial number, we can easily write uh, the time in the double quotes and uh, get sorted. So we close the bracket and I press enter and I get 9 as the answer because 9 indeed is at the minute position. Uh, let me do it one more time. I say uh, bracket, uh, double quote, 0, 06, colon, 0, 03, colon, 45, double quotes and bracket. So I get 3 as the answer because uh, in the uh, minute uh, case, I have position, I have mentioned 3 as the answer. Uh, let me do it for the second also. The functioning of second is again the same. It is going to return the second number from 1 to 59. So syntax is also same, second uh, bracket serial number. So let me mention the uh, time in the double quote. And I then press enter, I get 23 as the answer. And indeed, I've mentioned 23 in the position of the second. Uh, let me do it one more time so that it's more clear. So I say a bracket, double quote, uh, 0, 4, colon, uh, 0, 9, colon, 45, double quotes, and bracket. So I get 45 as the answer. I do it one more time for a better understanding. So we have uh, 0, 06 colon 0, 04 uh, 12 and i close the bracket and i get this answer uh, next important uh, function we have the work day uh, many times it happens that we know the uh, the start uh, date of the project uh, but we uh, do not know uh, like uh, what sh will be the probable uh, date when it is going to get over for example, sometimes we may have holidays that we want to take into account, especially in calculating the uh, number of days or in finding the exact date of the project finished. So I say the starting date is, uh, say, uh, let me say, 09, or let me put it like uh, this, 11, 1, 20, 20. Uh, the product, production days are... Uh, I say, or the project day, let me put it like this. Uh, it's going to take, uh, say, uh, let me put it like that, uh, say, uh, 35. And I also define the list of the holidays, which I know it being a holiday season, uh, we are going to have many holidays uh, during this time. So we have uh, 
11th uh, 15th november 2020 uh, let me have one more we have 2020 we have uh, uh, let's do it uh, holiday for uh, the last uh, day as well uh, let's do it one more uh, let's do it for 15th of december and uh, let me do it for 17 uh, december let me do it for 25th december which is indeed a holiday we have christmas and uh, so these are the holidays which i have defined over here and uh, now in the finish for the finish date i use the work day function so i say work day function it says it returns the serial number of the date before or after a specified number of the work days so let me see the format we have to give the starting date which is uh, nothing but this comma then we have to specify the number of days that we are going to have in the, in the project which is 35 i can mention the cell address also or i can mention the number of days also then we have to mention the uh, list of the holidays as the array. So I say E11 colon E. It is ending till, let me check, it is ending at E15. So it will be E colon E15. And I close the bracket over here. Uh, let me check uh, the formula so that there is no error at the end. I press enter and I got this particular number. Now this particular number is a serial number and I haven't got the date. So what I do, I go to the format cell option. In the format cell option, I convert this number into a date. And I say OK. And now you can very clearly see that uh, if the project is starting uh, on 1st of November, it is going to uh, end on 22nd of December. Uh, after considering all the holidays which we have mentioned over here and uh, since we have mentioned uh, 25th let if let me see what happens if i uh, increase this number to 45 uh, will it make any change uh, and let me write uh, the cell address over here as b11 and not the number over here so then if uh, i'm going to have uh, the 45 days in the project uh, with the uh, uh, starting date as 1st of November with the list of holidays which I've just mentioned over here. In that case, the project is going to end on the 7th of the January. So like this, uh, I think it's very easy to understand the uh, finish date that we can have uh, in the date. Another uh, function which I want to do is the uh, month function. And I think I have done that in the previous class, but I just wanted to repeat that. Uh, so it is giving me the serial numbers that means i have to mention the date in the quotes so i got 10 as the answer 